games. Can you? Do you think he can keep this up? You know, I, I don't know if he can keep. I think they, they need to split some more time and hit some more reps with Julius, uh, with, with Joseph Randall. They yep. do. He needs to get more touches. No, no doubt about. It. And, and I'm not sure about to, Dunbar. I'm not Dun, sure that Dunbar he's, needs he's to not, get his his okay. also simply right. because he's a guy that can get out in open space and make big plays. And we yeah. saw that a little bit last week against the, the it Seattle Seahawks. It seems like he catches it better than he actually runs straight forward. He with, is a you know, space guy. Yeah, you create right. a little space, he's going to make some yeah. plays for you. And he's a he's a terrible matchup for for opposing defenses. But when you look at DeMarco, I think the biggest problem with DeMarco over the years, they've always said, is he, can he physically stay ready to play week in and week out? And most of the time, in the last few years, he's been banged up. This year, he's healthy. And let's just look at the first three years. He hadn't carried the ball that much because of his injuries in years past. He's 26 years old right now. Mm -hmm. He's the hottest guy on the street. You cannot tell me DeMarco Murray will allow you to take those reps away from him. He wants those reps. And, and I think the way they're managing this right now, in practice, he's not getting that many reps. They're doing the, the old Emmett Smith rule. Yep. He doesn't touch the ball that much in practice, doesn't get banged around in practice, does, he relaxes, you know, they take care of his body. But on Sundays, he's that workhorse. And I think that goes right back to how we used to do Emmett Smith. He was a workhorse. Mm. DeMarco Murray is going to be that guy this year that's going to carry the load for the entire year. Okay, can he last? That's the question. And you're saying. I think. I, I think he's done. Think so? I think he's done enough this off season, in the last, actually the last two off seasons to get his bodily body physically ready to play a full season, 16, 16 games, and he's not taking the hits that, that he took behind the line of scrimmage that he's taken That's true. in years past. This time, this offensive line right now, they're mauling people. So when he's taking those hits, he's taking them at the second and third level instead of behind the line of scrimmage when people have free shots at him. So I, I, I think Demarco Murray. Mm -hmm. Is going to last this season. I'm, 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 getting, I'm going out on a limb on this. You are I, a little bit because history would argue against you. Yeah, and I, and I, and I know the lifespan of an NFL mm -hmm. play, of a running back is very short, but right now in this window of time, they're doing what they do best: control the line of scrimmage, right. hand the ball to 29, and he's getting those extra yards. And you, he's coming up with a contract. He wants the ball. He wants his carries right now because okay. now he's worth more. I hope you are right. Because, again, I am rooting like crazy for a team that I picked before the season to win this division. Yeah. My better judgment tells me I shouldn't trust this. <sighs> Doug Free is now down for, I don't know, a month or so. And that Jeremy Purnell came in and did, did pretty well. It looked like in a short time. Yeah. He pancaked somebody on the first play. He was talking about fresh legs. <laughs> he came, right? And blew somebody away. So maybe he'll step in and be okay. But... You mentioned Emmett Smith. You played with him. I covered your teams. Great teams. Greatest running back ever in just pure total yards. Greatest I ever saw at avoiding injurious contact. Quickness, as Norv Turner used to say, in a confined space. Never could get that lick on him that hurt him. Not that he wasn't beat up, but, but that, that, that lick that put you on IR. He avoided those better than anyone I ever saw because you couldn't quite tag him. Right. You know, you couldn't quite get him in that one vulnerable spot where you got your shot in on him. You just missed a little bit, and it was just enough for him to stay healthy enough to rack up all those yards. This guy is the opposite of that. He is the flip side of Emmett Smith. He knows he has the burden of an entire football team on his shoulders. On each pad, he's got right. the burden of Tony Romo over here and the whole defense over here, right? Both of them. He is carrying a dual load because he has to keep that defense, which I think is way better than we thought it was going to be, but we'll talk about that in just mm -hmm. a second. But he has to keep the defense somewhat off the field, and he has to keep the ball somewhat out of Tony's hands, right? Where, where he doesn't have to throw it 40 times a game or, or put it up where, where he has to take some chances he should not be taking. So if you're attacking like that, where he feels like every yard he's got to punish the defense to win the game for his team, I don't know. Now the injury gods are just going to have to smile on him going forward. Is that yeah, fair, I, right? I, I, I yeah. agree. I think the injury gods are going to have to smile on him yeah. because when you look at DeMarco and you look at the way this offense is built right now and, and how they've taken on the onus of they, they, basically in the years past, they've always been looked at as a soft offense where they throw the ball around yep. a finesse football team. Yep. They've taken on that mentality, and I think it starts up front with that offensive line altogether. Mm -hmm. They've taken on the mentality that we're going to control the line of scrimmage, yep. we're going to run the ball down your throat, and we don't care if there's eight men in the box, mm -hmm. if there's nine men in the box, we're going to run the ball at you. And yep. I, that's the mentality that DeMarco Murray has. He has that 
It's, I don't think it's about the money. I don't think it's about uh, the, you know, carrying a defense or, or whatnot. I think it's all about the fact that he wants to win games and he wants to punish people yeah. when he has the ball. So I think it's going to be hard to take that ball out of his hands. Injury I'm sure. God's when, smiling on DeMarco. We didn't ask him because he wasn't on the show. Where, what about that win? Did you, win. did you wait? Did you did you oh, pick the Cowboys? Yes, I said, oh, oh wait, wait, no, no, no I'm not on. gonna say I'm Hold not on. gonna say I picked the Cowboys because because I did not pick the Cowboys. Okay, good. But I love what I saw on the show with the Cowboy hat and the Tony Romo. Uh, more that, importantly, yes. yeah, we'll get Stephen A. to talk about that <laughs> in a you. minute. <laughs> He's like, thank you, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I know. Um, so listen, this year, Cowboys.